Hey everyone. Well, today I thought I would share uh, one of the basic training tools that I've used for a long time uh, when uh, I encounter people that are new to Creo uh, or Pro Engineer. And it seems to be a common stumbling block, especially for people coming from uh, other softwares where they have some some experience and their brain is is uh, geared towards the way that other software uh, uh, it takes care of business. So um, the stumbling block is how the sketcher uh, uh, setup orientation uh, is created, the methodology, and what the software is doing. Uh, and sometimes uh, it does it automatically and then confuses people. So uh, what I found over the years is that if I, uh, if I showed them this block, uh, that has the verbiage uh, front, right, top, back, bottom, uh, and then go through uh, 10 or so sketcher setups and have them flip the orientation planes around. Uh, it started to clear up the fog a little bit on what the software was requiring. So um, for you uh, people who might be uh, in charge of training someone, uh, if you find you uh, have difficulty getting the um, the people over the hump of this sketcher setup, uh, this tool might help you. So, uh, for example, uh, if I go to extrude and I click my placement plane, which is my sketcher, the surface that I'm going to sketch my my feature on, um, you'll see it brings up the sketcher placement fly out and it's looking for the sketch plane and for for this example I'll select this front plane and so uh, this this arrow means that I'm going to be looking down that arrow uh, in the same direction as the arrowhead and then you'll notice that um, it uh, has selected the right reference uh, or sorry the right plane as my orthogonal reference and it's pointing to the right uh, in subsequent tutorials, I'll, I'll, I'll dig into this a little bit deeper, but um, which, which this actually is a cause of confusion as well, and that's why I uh, have, have the names on here as well, front, right, top, and bottom, because it coincides with this, and uh, I like to demonstrate that, that this right and that right um, don't necessarily coincide with one another uh, or, identi or are identical. So... Um, Anyway, when I uh, select sketch, I have my sketcher animation on and you'll see that it automatically rotates the model around and now I'm looking right down that arrowhead, so to speak, and it's waiting for me to create a feature. Uh, so for example, I'll just stick a hole uh, through this thing. I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna go through all and uh, finish that feature off. So. Um, so what I find is as we work with this uh, and they start creating uh, some features, uh, I will also have them change the sketcher orientation. So for example, if I've selected this face again, you'll see that it's automatically orienting me to that um, right reference pointing to the right and I'm looking at this face. Now, if I go back to the sketcher placement flyout, I can change these. And what I like to do is I like to have them right click the mouse here and remove the orthogonal reference even though it's still animating in the window. And then I like to go back to my plane, which is my sketching plane, and then have them change it. And I would sketch uh, on the top view and you'll see that it's going in and adding these references that it thinks I, I, I like. So it's taken this surface, which is this back surface, and oriented that to the top, essentially pointing that to the top. And um, as I said, in subsequent tutorials, I'll, I'll go into this um, automatic reference control thing uh, that I don't necessarily like, but um, it is a source of confusion, so I left the functionality kind of out of the box so I could show you what's going on. Um, again, if I click sketch, it animates, and I can again just throw some feature. Uh, I'll just put a little extrusion here, and 
uh, I'll just complete it off. So, so essentially, um, again, for those just learning Pro E um, uh, or Creo, you can uh, create a block like this and then play around with it. But I would submit that. If you can create something like this with all these words uh, in the correct orientation, I don't think the sketcher orientation is an issue any longer for you. Uh, and again, for those that are in charge of mentoring, uh, I do find that something like this has been very beneficial over the years. Uh, I hope it, this has been uh, of value, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Thanks.